If you don't feel loved by your parents, if you're not sure they love you and care about you, there's only four things that you can do. If you're not loved. If you don't feel, well. If you don't feel loved. You don't feel that you they belong. They give you yeah. love. Yeah. But if you don't feel loved, if you don't feel significant. See, children have needs and they're very simple needs. I need to feel loved. I need to feel significant. I need to feel protected and I need to feel I matter. Mm -hmm. I need to feel safe. That's really their needs. Mm -hmm. At least the four things. Fine. I need to feel loved, yeah. significant, protected, safe, matter. Protected and safe are kind of the same, so it could be four. Mm -hmm. Pretty much that's a child's needs. Yeah. And if these needs are not met for whatever reason, then they have no choice but to do one of four things. The first is to get sick. Being mm -hmm. sick is so powerful for a child, suddenly they do feel loved, they do feel significant, they do feel they matter, they, they might feel safe because a doctor or nurses are very kind to them. The second one is to be brilliant, doesn't mm. matter at what. The kids who become outstanding athletes, grade A students, they get all the attention. Because they, they feel validated. My, my parents are really proud. They're saying, look at my son, look at his report. Oh, you know, my daughter, the track star. And suddenly they do feel significant. They do feel they matter. And they lean more into and that. They, yeah, yeah, but they can never give that up. And they become adults who are always still having to be the best. That was me. Mm, the yeah. sick kids are the adult hypochondriacs. The third way, and I'm a therapist, so I can say that was me as the carer. They go, you know, life isn't fair. I'm not getting love and attention. I know. Why don't I give it? I'll be a nurse. And the statistics of nurses who come from that need to give what they haven't got is really high. That's why it's a calling as much as a profession. So the next role is the carer. I'll go out. And I'll, I'll put work. other people before and I'll, me. And I'll be I'll, a nurse, I'll be yeah. a doctor, I'll be a counselor, I'll be a therapist. And they give so much, but they don't receive. And so the carer's needs are met by giving what they didn't get. Mm. So one of my clients was saying her mother was a very high-powered executive, but she drank all the time, secretly. And she had no time for this daughter, except when she drank too much. And then she'd be the one that would hide the bottles, clean up the house, make her some soup, or maybe run to the store and get her more alcohol or go and find it where she hid in the garage before dad came home. And she only felt needed when she was looking after an alcoholic mother. And she also became a high-flying executive, mm. and she only ever dated alcoholics because she was playing the only part she'd ever known. If I nurse an alcoholic, I feel useful. I feel wanted. It's the next best thing to being loved is to be wanted. Mm. And the third, fourth way, which is really interesting, is to be the rebellious, difficult one. And that usually happens when all the other roles have gone. My sister's sick. My dad's brilliant. Mm -hmm. My brother's perfectly <laughs> caring. So, so I'm going to take my spoon and bang it on oh, the yeah. table. And I'm still doing it 40 years later because i got to get the power off these people. Wow. So I'm going to be the difficult kid. And if I can't be the best in the family, and if I can't be the most brilliant, yeah. I have to find some other role. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't be the most giving and loving, yeah. i got to be the rebellious one.